friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. And let's get started. Okay, so here is my box from Julia. And her channel is called Crafting with Julia. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in here. So excited and a bit nervous. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. And this is pretty close up because my camera is pretty close to my table. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Look at all this stuff. Okay. Bus use. We'll save that for later. Oh my goodness. Julia, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Must use later. Or must use. I'll set that for later. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm seeing some cute things. <gasps> Julia, are you serious? You are so good. <laughs> Girl, you know me. <laughs> Gotta have that chocolate. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this bag. This bag is beautiful. I've never seen this one. Better late than ugly. <laughs> that is cute. Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh my goodness. Oh, what is this? I gotta open this up. Let's see. I've never seen this before. I'm sure this is not Dollar Tree. What is this? Okay, new stash. Oh, oh, it's tea. Herbal. Is it herbal tea? I gotta see this. Wow, and the bag is so beautiful. It's like a, it's like a canvas bag. <gasps> yes, look at that. Oh, wow. All kinds of herbal teas. Nice, thank you, Julia. That is so sweet of you. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this little fairy garden, little house. Love the fairy gardens. And oh, I love these transfers. Love this transfer, it's really cute. Oh my goodness, Julia. I feel so pampered. Am I going to need all these nice luxurious items to relax after I take care of my must use items? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, another canvas bag. Okay, I've never seen this one either. It says beauty and the beach. Oh my goodness. Yes. That is gorgeous. And a book? What? The Old Farmer's Almanac, Almanac 2022 Planner. <gasps> what? Are you serious, Julia? Oh my goodness. And the poppies, love the poppies. Mm, wow. This is a nice, nice gift. Thank you, Julia. Okay, that's it as far as the box and some bubble wrap. So let's see the must use items. Let's see what's here. Let's put these scissors away before I cut myself. Okay, Julia. Okay, so these I must craft with. Must, must, must. This paper is beautiful. Look at that. It's like iridescent -y. Oh my goodness. Iridescent. You know me, I make up my own words. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> okay, a wooden cactus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> okay, Julia. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad as wood. So, okay. Okay, this next one. Let me see. I don't know. Feels like... I don't know. Let's see what's in here. Oh! Okay, it's one of those light-up things. Yeah. Oh, look! It's the pineapple. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. Pineapple and a cactus. Oh my goodness, what is this? I feel like Christmas. It feels like a, oh no, wait a minute. I don't know, it feels squishy. First I thought it was a teddy bear, but no, it feels like something else. It feels like a like one of those pillows. <laughs> oh, <Julia. laughs> oh my goodness, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> sculpture in the making <laughs> all right well, let's see what let's see what I come up with I'll be right back <laughs> thank you Julia <laughs> okay let's get started we'll start with DIY number one I'm going to begin with some items that I had in my stash for my base of my DIY 
and so I'll begin with two of these wooden trays from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take my utility knife if you guys have been following me you know I like to cut these balsa wood wood items pretty often they're the, the wood is pretty soft so it's pretty easy to cut so I'm just gonna cut off the ends to each and I'll save these pieces for another time and now I'm going to go in with some of the Elaine's Tacky Glue. It's one of my glues of choice that I prefer to use on these balsa wood projects. But you can also use wood glue of course and hot glue does work as well. But I just really like the way the Elaine's Tacky Glue works. And so I'll just gently remove any excess that might squeeze through or squeeze out and allow that to dry. In the meantime, I'm taking six of these fence panels from the Dollar Tree. Never mind the, the pineapple over there on the top left corner. <laughs> I'll work on that later. So now I'm going to take a screwdriver and I'm just going to pop off all these staples and remove all these jute, pieces of jute twine. I'll save the jute twine for another project and I'll take some needle nose pliers and pull off the staples and I do this to all of them just like this. And here I'm just showing you that all the staples are removed and we're about ready to paint in a minute. So let me set these aside and I'm taking one of these fence panels and I'm going to take my miter shears and I'm going to cut this one fence panel into two pieces, actually three pieces. I need two sets of two fence panels and that'll leave one extra and I'll save that one for another time. But I just use my miter shears to help cut through again this balsa wood balsa wood that is very soft so they just pop off like this so there's two there and then I do the other side for the other two sets the set of other two you guys know what I mean <laughs> and so I'll just have one that's left by itself and I'll put that one away for another project and now I'm getting ready to paint so here are my two pieces a fence panel and my five panels and let's put away this pineapple and I'm bringing back the two wood trays that I adhered together with the Elaine's Tacky Glue. And now I'm going to go in with the Waverly Antique Wax. And I did dilute this a little bit with a bit of water just to help give the fence panels a little bit of different shades. I want it to look like an aged fence. Kind of like the one that Hurricane Irma blew in my home. <laughs> okay, so here I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly Antique Wax in the color Plaster. And I'm going to do a dry brush on all of these in this manner. I'm going to go in kind of mid, like not too light and not too heavy, but just kind of like a mid shading like this until they all look like this piece here. And then I go ahead and do them all. And of course I didn't film it all because it took a while to get them done. But in the magic of YouTube, look, they're all done. And look how good they look. Oh my goodness, they look so good. <laughs> they came out so nice. I'm so excited. And now I'm just going to take some hot glue and adhere all of these fence panels onto this base that I created. And I'm going to place two on the back and I'm going to adhere them on this bottom piece of the fence panel. So that way the back is a little bit higher than the front. And so just like this, I'm leaving the very middle open and you'll see why in a little bit. And I'm taking two more and placing them directly against the surface of the table. So it's even with the trays. So that way you can't see the actual trays anymore. And I'll do the same to the front. So I'll put these, that way these will sit lower and then the ones in the back will sit a little bit higher. And now I'm going to take the two smaller pieces and I'm going to adhere them to the two sides of these two pieces of fence. But I'm going to adhere them to where they're a little bit open. That way they look like they're gates. So I'm just going to add a little dab of glue here, a little dab of glue there and just press and hold it. And it holds it perfectly. And I'll do the same to the other side until they're nice and adhered. And look, it's so cute. It's like the gate is open and it's very sturdy and strong. So now I'm going to take some floral foam and I'm going to cut it down in pieces so that way I can fill this up 
with floral foam because of course we're going to add plenty of florals and beautiful things to make this beautiful little garden this spring topiary garden so here I'm just gonna add all this and then the middle part I'll cut another small piece and I'll just place it inside I had to kind of wedge it in there but you know gotta do what you gotta do Let's just press it down until it goes in there and now I'm going to take a lot of glue and just kind of douse this thing with glue and work in sections because you know hot glue will dry quickly and now I'm just going to take some of the floral moss and cover this whole piece with the floral moss and I'll continue this until I get the whole thing done and I'll set it aside and come back to it later this video is a part of the spring mystery box swap and it is hosted by Brenda over at Monner's Market and her co-host is Krista from Krista's Crafty Life and a bunch of us got together and sent each other some boxes and in the boxes we have three items that we have to craft with the rest could be gifts but the three we have to craft with so when you're done watching my video please head on over to my description box and watch the playlist and see what everybody sent each other and how they did with their three random items their must use items this is going to be hysterical <laughs> For DIY number two, I'm going to begin with my must use items. Number one is this pineapple, which you guys already saw a preview of what I did to it, but that's okay. We'll remove the, the little LED light and I'm going to go in with my larger X-Acto knife and I'm going to score the top of this pineapple and I'm going to keep scoring it until I get it nice and cut off and I do the same to the back part. I actually needed to do the back part first. For the top part to come off but it came off just perfectly fine removed any excess pieces of wood and taking my finger sander to sand everything nice and smooth so now i'm trying to make it look like an easter egg or half of an easter egg or a part of an easter egg with the design put away these tops for another time and now i'm going to go in with these three pretty greenish colors a sage a celery and a moss and paint it up like this so now it's looking more like an easter egg yes it is and off camera i added a burlap bow some florals and some of that wrapping paper that julia wrapped my must used items in until it looks like this and look how cute and a closer look at the final reveal diy number three i'm going to tackle these three foam footballs and so first i started cutting it with my utility knife but that was definitely a no-go didn't cut so instead I'm going to go in with my EMT shears and look at that it just cut it off like nothing like butter <laughs> just cut them so easily oh my goodness love those scissors love those shears and now with the tails removed I'm going to go in with some of the matte mod podge and some of the apple barrel holly branch paint acrylic paint until they're all painted up like this set them aside and I'm going to take a tub and fill it up with some of the floral moss because we need to contain this stuff this stuff goes everywhere you guys know it just goes everywhere so I'm going to use my hands and loosen all loosen it all up make sure it's nice and fluffy and I'm going to go back in with some more Mod Podge on my footballs that was my first technique and I'm using this little brush which, which is one of my favorite brushes to apply Mod Podge so I'm going to go in with a Mod Podge and I'm going to adhere this floral moss onto my footballs but it wasn't adhering quick enough so I just went on to plan B and I just used hot glue to adhere the moss but if you do this just be careful because that moss it's kind of thin and it could burn you so definitely use some kind of a tool to help push down all the moss and so now look they're all covered looking like topiaries yes 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 super cute so I just set that aside let all the glue set and we'll come back to that in a minute. So now we'll start with DIY number four, which is my last must use item, this fantastic wooden cactus. And I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and score and remove these two arms of this cactus and the crown as well. We are doing a little bit of dissecting. <laughs> so here is my finger sander, get it nice and smooth. And now this piece I'll continue to cut down as well. And I'll just keep scoring until it pops off because this cactus, the bottom part will be a stand. I'm going to flip it upside down and the top part, this top part, I'm going to transform it into a little bunny. So here I'm trying to create some ears for the bunny, 
So I'm tracing the round portion, placing the other piece, do the same thing. And using my EMT shears, I'll remove the excess on both until they're rounded like this. Do a little bit of sanding, get everything nice and smooth. And going back in with my miter shears to remove this excess piece that's on the bottom of the crown of my cactus until it just pops right off. And then smoothen that out nice and smooth. And so now I decided to go in with some of the Elmer's wood glue since I am doing some reconstruction here, creating a bunny. And I'm just going to add some glue and adhere the two little ears to the bunny body. This will be the bunny body. And now I'm going to add a couple pieces of craft stick to keep the two ears nice and adhered. That way they're nice and strong. So I'm just going to snip off these two rounded ends and use some hot glue and place it on the back as kind of like a brace just to keep everything nice and tight. And you won't see it because it'll be in the back and we'll be covering this up as well. And now here comes the fun part. We're going to take some lightweight spackle and my silicone spatula and we're going to fill in all the little gaps where the ears are attached to the little body, the bunny body, and we're actually going to cover the whole piece back and front so a full coverage with this lightweight spackle here it is nice and dry and now it has great texture so now i'm going to go in with the waverly chalk paint in the color elephant and give it a full coat once that's dry then i'll go in with the waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and with my chunky chippy brush i'll do a dry brushing on this whole piece just to give the bunny a stone look so it'll be like a little stone bunny in the garden. So I'll do both sides and all the edges. And I'll just keep working on it until it looks like a little stone bunny. So look, I'll show you up close in a second. Look how good it looks. It totally looks like stone. Look at that. Love this technique. So I'll set that aside, allow that to dry. And now I'm gonna take this bottom piece of the cactus and I'm going to go in with the Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Truffle. Give that a full coat. And while that's drying, I'm taking these two extra little pots that I had from a previous project. And I'm just going to do a quick, thick dry brushing with some of this Chalk Paint in the color Plaster on both pots. And set them aside, allow them to dry. And now I get to start assembling my little garden. So here is my little stand. I'm adding a bead of glue and placing it down on the floor foam, pushing it in some, that way it's nice and stable. And now I'm going to take my little pots and I'm taking some of these little white rocks from the Dollar Tree just to give it a little bit of weight. And I'll place one of my topiaries inside and it's a perfect fit. And now I'll just place a nice dab of glue on my stand and place my pot on top, that way it's nice and stable. Add my other little pot on this other side, add some more rocks for weight and place another topiary inside. And then for my third topiary, I didn't have another pot, so I just placed a dowel inside and pressed it in. So now here I moved my camera so you guys can have a better look. And I'm gonna go in with these wildflowers and these greenery bouquet. I like these little greenery, greenery bouquet flowers because they're teeny tiny. And I wanted to use the teeniest, tiniest little flowers I could find that were high-end looking. And using my detailed glue gun, I'm just going to adhere these little flowers onto my topiaries and add the rest of my florals and greenery. And I also use two round push pins for the knobs of the gate. And so here we are at the final reveal. Let me know what you guys think.
While I take a moment and thank Brenda from Monner's Market and Krista from Krista's Crafty Life for getting us all together and hosting and co-hosting this fantastic challenge. I had a lot of fun creating for it. And also a big thank you to Julia for all the fantastic gifts she sent me and the challenging items. I truly had a lot of fun with them and I appreciate you, Julia. And the chocolates were delicious. I had them after I got done. <laughs> and please don't forget to head on over to my description box and click the link to the playlist and see what everybody else received and what they did. What did they create? How exciting. And also you get to see who I sent my box to and what I sent them and what they created. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And until my next video, stay healthy, safe, and strong. And have a great, great day. Bye-bye.